If you're watching this video, you might be thinking about moving to Encinitas. And in this video, we're gonna show you the pros and cons of what it's like to live here in Encinitas, California. And if you stay until the end, we're going to share with you one of our favorite pros of living here. Hi everyone, it's John Elizabeth Finley coming to you from Encinitas, California. If you are someone who is interested in knowing the ins and outs of living in Encinitas, what it's like to live here, play here, work here, then be sure to hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it to get notified anytime we release a video of what it's like to live in Encinitas, California. So honestly, we get a lot of people reaching out to us about moving to or relocating to Encinitas, California on a daily basis. If you are one of those people interested in moving to Encinitas or relocating, or you just want to know what it's like to hang out in Encinitas, we are going to leave on the screen in the description below our contact info. You can call us, text us, email us, whatever's convenient for you if you're looking to make the move. We help a lot of people relocating to the area and we're happy to help you too. All right, so jumping into it, we're just gonna start with con number one. So here we go. All right, con number one is there are no obvious seasons here. So if you're someone who likes the snow and the changing of the seasons, we don't get a lot of that here, right? We don't, like, we don't get any snow here, but we occasionally get some thunderstorms and such, but that brings us to pro number one, good weather year round. Truthfully, the weather is just great here in San Diego year round, like 72 degrees all the time. It seems like it's sunny every day. It's not, but it just seems like it because the weather is so good. Um, and that's kind of why it plays into the, the con of no obvious seasons, but it's just good weather year round. So we're fortunate about that. So that brings us to con number two, crowds. Crowds at the beach, crowds in the city, just in and around the town. The weather is so good, everyone's always out and about, and it just seems crowded all the time, so. And a lot of that happens during the summer because we get a lot of uh, vacationers, summer vacationers here who, uh, snowbirds or whatever, or even heat birds, right? From Arizona, a lot of people come here and our cities swell um, during that time. So lots of crowds. Um, so popping back over to our pro number two, great surf breaks, which John can probably talk way better about me than in a lot of great beaches. Yeah, so I mean, we've got all up and down the coast, great places to surf, great places to hop on the water, and the beaches are great too, so you don't have to surf to just enjoy the beaches. You get the views, you get everything like that, but you have access to these tremendous natural resources, and it's just something that gets you out and makes you, uh, I don't know, makes you feel active and happy. Yeah, there's, right? there's public beaches all along the county. So, we're switching over to con number three. There are too many bikers on the road, and I'm a cyclist, but I gotta tell you, we've got dedicated lanes here, like in the middle of the road, for cyclists, and... Um, and they can take them anytime they want. So yeah, so you get stuck behind them and you're going 15 miles per hour when you wanna be going 30 or 40, but anyway, there are, there are a lot of cyclists here, and so that is one of the cons. Um, you gotta look out for them, you gotta yeah. be careful, we want them to live, but... And it's definitely um, increased with all the e-bikes too. It's increased, yeah. now, for we, sure. now we got all ages on the, on the bikes. For sure. So that brings us to a healthy lifestyle pro number three. So this whole area is full of people who just love working out and being outside and what better weather than doing it here in San Diego. And then also, I mean, you honestly have no excuse not to be healthy and working out here. Right. It's, it also happens to be um, the yoga capital of the world, Encinitas is the definite, it's called the yoga capital, I think because it has so many yoga shops. Or they say, I haven't tested this theory, but they say per capita, we've got the most yoga studios in the world. I don't know if that's true or not, but there's a heck of a lot of yoga going on. You can't drive through downtown Encinitas without you know, someone walking by with a yoga mat and this and that. Um, there's triathletes, cyclists, everyone is very, very active. It kind of draws people to this area. Right. So, and also because of the good weather, it's always sunny. So like, you just right. want to get out and go do that. And because of that, we start with con number four, which is parking. Parking is tough here in the city. Like it, you, if, if something's going on downtown, downtown Encinitas area, uh, parking's going to be tough. Plan on walking a bit. Yeah, I mean, the, whether you're going to the beach or whether you want to go to restaurants, nightlife, whatever it is, parking is kind of tough, but you know that in advance. So you either go a little early or you just plan to park a little ways and walk a little bit. Or you and, Uber, or you, right? Or, yeah. or you Uber, but yeah. it's all part of the healthy lifestyle. So we're going to 
Con, pro. I mean pro. We're going to yeah. pro number four, which is top ranked schools. The school districts are great here from elementary to middle school to high school. We, we raised our kids here in yeah. top rated schools. It's great education for kids. The cool thing about our district is the kids in um, middle school and in high school, they have several schools from which they can choose from and they're different kinds of schools. So you have kind of like a more athletic type school, you have an artistic type school, a musical school. So there's kind of something for everything and they're all, for everyone, and they're all really good. Right, there's definitely like a Juilliard of the district and a, a science, biology, tech um, high school. And so what I was gonna say is um, dual immersion language, that's a big thing that I just recently helped a buyer come to Encinitas uh, Union Elementary School District because they wanted their children in the dual immersion. Right, so you get to pick those schools. So top rated schools is definitely one of the pros. Going to one of the cons is, and people don't know this until you actually live here, so we're happy to share it with you. This is con number five, train noise. We have a train that runs right through the middle of downtown Encinitas, and it's kind of cool, but there's several trains. There's the freight train, there's the coaster, there's the Amtrak, but what do they do? The crossings come down, so if you're trying to cross with your car, you gotta sit and wait when they're, when they're going by. Um, the noise, they they beep their horn or honk their horn, blow their horn, that's what I'm looking for. They yeah. blow their horn as they're crossing major intersections. So it gets loud and if you live down there um, at nighttime, it can be a nuisance, but right. you just get used to it, right? Right, yeah, and I mean, well, it is a good way to go down to San Diego to the Padre game and not have to bring your car. Right, so, so I mean, you, you just kind of make it part of your lifestyle and um, it adds to the ambiance, right? Yep. Pro number five is that there are so many great canyons and trails to hike on here. And I've been on many and they, they really are beautiful. And we've actually lived in two houses here now that back right up to the canyon. And it's kind of hard not to find a house that doesn't have canyon. It's hard. If you, if you do a Google Earth shot over in Sanitas, you will see community after community with canyons interspersed throughout. And you did, there's these cool little finger canyons. And what I mean by that, they're not like these big massive canyons. They're just finger canyons that have trails, great for hiking, great for walking, taking the dog out on them, but they're really cool. And it adds to the landscape and the scenery because you've got these green canyons mixed in with these houses. So it's yeah. really cool. I mean, before I even move, ever moved to San Diego, which I've been here 20 years now, I didn't know that it was so like hilly and you know, like, Taking a walk or, or riding a bike or whatever, it's it's not just simple flat road. You're, you're definitely not in the desert out here. <laughs> right, so we're moving on to con number six, and this is something you also probably don't know unless you actually spend some time here and live here, but we've got May gray and June gloom. And what that means is during those months, the sun really doesn't come out. You get this coastal fog. Well, definitely not before noon. Yeah, I mean, you get this coastal fog and it's just, gray and cloudy and it kind of contradicts what we we're saying about the good weather and 72 degrees all the time it's still 72 degrees it's just gloomy for those months so may gray june gloom right a bit of humidity yeah <laughs> I mean, and, I think there's a lot of humidity during that time so it just it's just something you get used to i grew up here so to me i enjoy it because it reminds me of the beginning of summer you know when we get the may gray and june gloom it's like okay summer is now beginning but it is an odd thing that people don't realize until they move here right and when i moved here i was like what the heck is this second winter what's going on you know i did it was actually upsetting me because i was like this isn't like spring spring summer weather but anyway it right. is what it is right so next one pro pro number six of living here in encinitas and actually san diego in general is the proximity to all the amusement parks and the zoo and the wild animal park so we have legoland just one city north of us and we have SeaWorld just about 20 minutes south of us and there's so much to do for families in this area especially but um i like going there too <laughs> even you without the kids legoland yeah i don't remember what you mentioned but you've got legoland you've got wild animal park the zoo sea world, sea world. uh down in chula vista you've got um the water park oh and, yeah um it was knott's berry farms yeah wild and then water we park. won't mention our neighbor to the north because we never do but you got disneyland and um you, you've just got close, an hour away. Close, pro close proximity to all of these great amusement parks and it's just one more added feature to do something outside right yeah and speaking of, because of all those amazing amusement parks and all this action that we've got going on down here, guess what? Con number seven is 
road construction. That's always fun to navigate through on the way to your amusement park with a delay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it never seems to end here. So I will tell you that, be prepared for that. Whether it's on the, fr the freeway or your, your local little, little towns, there's always some type of road construction going on, but I kind of feel like that's, that's everywhere, but that is something that gets annoying. They've been expanding our freeways um, for years. So yeah. hopefully the expansion of the freeway will take, take down some of that, that congestion. But. Right, exactly. It, it is supposed to, it's, a, it's supposed to help. So anyway, uh, pro number seven, the small town feel of Encinitas. I think it's the charming, it's such a charming town. It, it does have a, a, a feel of uh, just walking through and knowing people as you go by. I mean, we're, we're always seeing people that we know. It's super cool. I mean, I, I grew up just one town away, but the, the general area is kind of all the same, North County Coastal. And so I run into people that I grew up with and went to school with. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I was um, grabbing a, a happy hour and some food with a friend and I ran into someone that I hadn't seen since uh, elementary school. But it's just such a, it's got such a small town feel to it. Um, and there's a lot of um, eateries and such in the area that are mom and pop, you know, original yep. owner food places that have done really well here in Encinitas. Um, and the same with a lot of the the other shops in town. So, I mean, it's it does have a small town feel. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So that brings us to our con number eight, and which may keep some of you from coming here. It's expensive to live here. It really is. Um, I wouldn't say so much the the day-to-day -day cost of living, while that can be, we're talking more real estate. It's expensive to yeah. own a condo here. It's expensive to own a townhome. It's expensive right. to own a single family detached home. And, and it's expensive to rent. We call it the it. sunshine tax because you do get sunshine yeah. most of the year, so you pay for it in the house that you buy, but it is expensive to live here. Yeah, it is. And not really um, anything to do with this, but pro number eight is that there is a vibrant nightlife here. So that kind of goes back more to our small hometown feel. Well, the other part of it is in Encinitas, it's kind of got it going on. Yeah, I mean, Definitely it's just... Definitely in the evening and... And it, it's this. fun for all ages. I mean, you know, there people our age, um, you can guess what our age is. And <laughs> young people as well. That maybe gives you a little tip off. But there's really cool places to go eat. There's great places to have happy hour. There are good little um, breweries and tap rooms, um, great coffee shops. It's just really cool place, whether you're going for breakfast, a mid-morning uh, coffee, lunch, or yeah. afternoon happy hour or dinner, there, there's always somewhere cool to go. Well, and you know, not to mention, but since, since COVID came around, all the eateries in the downtown and Sanitas now, of course, all have outdoor cafe and outdoor seating, and it's just created this vibe that is really off the hook. Um, I mean, it's it's so engaging now, just driving through the whole area, and they have a lot of things that go on in the town of Encinitas too. They're really fun, the car classic, the hot August night kind of thing. I mean, they've got a lot of fun things that they do. It's super cool. So we have run through our list of pros and cons, given you our insights of what it's like to live in Encinitas, California. If you have more interest in learning more about living in Encinitas, you can contact us. Stay tuned for further videos. Um, like we said earlier, we help a lot of people relocate to Encinitas and we'd love to help you too. So don't be afraid to reach out via phone, text, um, email, whatever it is. Right. And we're happy to help you guys with any, any questions you have regarding Encinitas, California, but this is where we live, it's where we work, it's where we play, we're passionate about it, and we'd love to um, explore that passion with you and help you guys find that passion too. Hope to chat with you soon. Take have care. Have a good day, take care.